And on the age of centuries, in late 19th, there come the new stars of yoga, so-called yoga teachers, Sidersky, Lapa, Boyko, and Lapin. All of these personalities are quite well known. Andrei Sidersky had created his own unique yoga style. He had synthesized martial arts, which he was deeply involved with, the swimming techniques and the Castaneda techniques. He was one of the first translators of Castaneda into Russian. Andrei Lapa, another Kiev instructor, also had created his own style, within which he mixed the elements of karate, yoga, and had created his own unique style, which he called the Dance of Shiva. Later on, he became fond of Karmakagyu Buddhism and had synthesized some practices from here. He might be slightly less known than Sidersky, but has also made his contribution. Viktor Boyko, the Moscow yoga practitioner who created his own specific style, which, as he thought, was based on Iyengar, but he synthesized the ideas of Patanjal Yoga Shastra translated by Ostrovskaya and Rudoy, which he comprehended in some specific way, and the Chitta Vritti Nirodha became the theoretical basis for the techniques of deep relaxation. That was a quite interesting style in his time. And at last, Andrei Lapin, the second Soviet Tantric. Of course, he's not quite a yoga teacher, uh, he didn't practice much yoga. He was a specialist in Tantra and the creator of the well-known training called the Touch. He also had several other deep trainings. There he had promoted ideas of sensuality and sexuality, the Anahata experience, the emotional experience with other people, the mutual empathy, and in fact the techniques of total life through experiencing Actually, he tried to reconstruct some new Soviet Tantra. And then he had disappeared. He had filmed lots of interesting things within his long journeys. As for now, he sometimes does seminars, reads lectures and so on.